Okay, this is a video presentation designed uh, to be aimed at teachers um, to help them make timers for PowerPoint for in-class activities. An example of a timer is something you just saw disappearing here, and that was set to time nine seconds. Uh, if you want to do something a bit more advanced, you can have timers that, when clicked on, will begin a countdown. So I've just clicked on this timer, and um, each window takes three seconds, or each circle takes three seconds to disappear. Um, so altogether it was nine seconds worth uh, in this, and there's a small uh, sound played at the end. So I use this kind of thing with when I do multiple choice type questions like this, and maybe I have the children have uh, answer cards, A, B, C, D, uh, so they can hold up their answer only after the time has run out. This one is set to one minute, so I won't wait for that to, to finish. And at the end, when they've answered, I can then display the answer, the correct answer, and... Um, and we can move on efficiently in class and get a lot of work done. Okay, so how to make these timers? Essentially, the ones at the front page were three circles, and I'd laid them over the top of each other, and they were set to um, set to animate one after the other. And you can change the timings and all that in PowerPoint. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So let's start by I've just pressed Escape to get out of the presentation. I'll make a new blank side by pressing Control M which is a bit of a shortcut. I'm going to select these boxes because I don't want them and delete them. So I just press delete on the keyboard then after selecting them with the uh, left click on the mouse. Now I'm going to create uh, my shape. I could make any shape I wanted, so I'm making a circle. I'm going to make three copies of that by right clicking, copy, and then paste, and then paste again. So now I have three copies. And if you notice actually, the last copy is on top I can't put uh, this copy, which is the first copy, on top of the last copy. Maybe it'll be easier to explain this when I change their colors. So, now I'm going to change their colors. So I want the one which I made first to be red. But you can change all this round at the end, so just change the colors to things that you think would be appropriate. I'm going to go with the standard traffic light, red, uh, yellow. So I'm just going into uh, right-clicking on the shape going to format shape and then where it says fill I can change the fill color in this case I'm going to make it yellow and if I wanted to I could change the line color which is the outline so if I change this to just to make it obvious that it's been changed purple for instance um, and a couple of other things I can make the thickness different as well I'll do that just to, just to demonstrate how these things are done so you can see the, the uh, line color of that is different and then I'll make the first one uh, green so I'm changing the fill color to green and I don't particularly like any of those greens, so I'm going to go to My Colors, which is just gives you more options for colors, if you see at the bottom here where I'm clicking. And I'm going to select the green color here. By the way, if you find this video is going a bit fast, you can always pause it and rewind it whilst you do each of these steps. In fact, that's what I recommend you do. Pause, rewind the video, and, and do each of the steps um, along with me, and then uh, you can, uh, you can uh, keep up, and you don't have to remember everything in one go. Okay. So I have the three colors now, and if you'll notice, they sit on top of each other. I could, if I wanted to, bring the red one to the front by right-clicking on it, going to bring to the front, uh, clicking on that, and now that one's at the top. Okay, but that's actually not what I wanted. I'll, I'll put it back by right-clicking on it and going send to the back. So I can order, uh, the. you can think of them as playing cards almost. I can put one card to the back or bring it to the front. It depends on how they're going to be displayed. Right, now to add the animations. If I click on the, the green one, which is the front one, the first one I want to disappear, then go to the tab or the ribbon at the top here, click animations, and I want to put a custom animation. In fact, I already had the custom animation open bar open already. So I click on this and it gives me this custom animation bar here. I've still got this highlighted or selected, so I'm going to now go to add effect, and I want it to exit. I'm going to choose one of the animations, but the one I think that works quite nicely for this is the wheel, because uh, it disappears like this. Okay. Now, if I click on the animation in the custom animation bar here, I can click on this drop-down tab, which gives me more options. I'm going to go into Effect Options, and go to Timing on the top bar here. And I want to make the delay, so once I've clicked on the slide, I want the delay to be let's say three seconds. 
I'll make it short so that we can, you could make this 20 seconds, that's what I did on the, um, on the physics question I had on the previous slide. It was a 20 second delay for each one, so I had a whole minute, students had a whole minute to answer the questions. But I'll make it short on this so that we can test it and see it now and we'll not have to wait for too long. So that one delay three seconds, okay. And I also want to make this start with previous, which means as soon as the slide comes up, this timer begins. So start with previous. Okay, so let's just test that now. I can go to the bottom here and run the slideshow from this slide. If you look in the bottom right hand corner. And that seemed to go immediately, which is not what I wanted. I want it to be delayed by three seconds. Let's just go back to effect options, timing. Right, for some reason when I change this, it reset this to zero. So just be aware that that can happen. Okay, change it back. Okay, let's test it. So hopefully now after three seconds it should disappear. Yes, okay, so that's what I was aiming for. Right, so now what I want to do is I just pressed escape to escape uh, on the keyboard to get out of that view. Click on the yellow one. I want to do the same thing. I want to add an exit um, animation, right? But you'll notice that this little symbol here of the mouse means that that will only do that animation when I click the mouse. I want it to do this animation after the previous, so I'm going to click on start after previous, right? So now that will happen after the previous but I also want it to be delayed so I'll go back into effect options and delay it by three seconds as well one two three okay so again I can test if I wait for three seconds the first one should disappear and then another three seconds after that and the second one should disappear great okay okay and now it's just the final step the final one exit wheel I don't want it to be on click, I want it to be after the previous, so I've changed it to after the previous, and I can go into the effect options and tell it how long after the previous one, so I could make this 3 seconds, I could make it 20 seconds, I could make it an hour, it's up to you, uh, whatever you think is appropriate uh, for your lesson, or whatever you're doing, okay? So that all looks fine. Okay, so now you can see there are three things, wait 3 seconds, the first should disappear, and the second. So with all these things, you can um, you can play around with them and, and apply them these kind of techniques to all kinds of uh, different scenarios. You don't have to just make timers. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could stack these all together so you get like this nice neat effect, and it all come. It doesn't take up much screen space, and that could be in the top right hand corner, the bottom left hand corner. I've just selected the whole group of things there, and it will run like that. And if you want to be really clever, you could make a group of these, uh, make, make another one here and another one here, and have different timing options on them. So this one might take 30 seconds, and then the next one could take a minute, and the next one could be five minutes, and uh, you could just put it into your template for your PowerPoints. Uh, and the problem, of course, then would be that it all run at the same time. So what you could do is, instead of having it start with previous, you could go into effect options, and this is the clever bit. Um, not, I didn't really intend to do this in this presentation, but triggers is something you can look at a bit later. Uh, but just for those, I'm going to do it anyway, just uh, in case you can pick it up from this small example. Right, so if I go to triggers, I can change the animation. Instead of it being on the click on the slide, it can be a click on that actual object that starts the animation. So I want this to start animating after I've clicked on and I can see here that the green one, the first one to start, is oval number five, and that's the one I want to be clicked on. So I'll make it so that start on the click, start effect on the click of oval number five. Okay, right. Now I have to make sure that all this will run as before. So I put that. I'm just changing the order here. So now it's when that is clicked on, then that happens, then that happens. Okay, I've changed the order of things. Otherwise, uh, that would have ruined it. Okay, let's just try this. So I click on this should wait three seconds now and it should animate yep and then the next one oh, still a little bit of an issue so I think what happened was it went back to its defaults and there's no yeah there's no delay so I go back in put these delays back in of three seconds on each one and we should be away okay for some reason it always resets the default of no delay but that doesn't matter you can fix it okay so I've clicked on it three seconds later it should disappear and now we should have a three second wait again 
Okay, good. And the final one, good. Right, so that's working as expected. <coughs> Just to show off what you could do, you could have uh, this one being a very short delay, you could change this one now, so I've got, this is all on oval number 8. I've just copied the whole group of stuff, and it's copied all the animations over as well. To save myself time, I don't have to remake everything. And now I could go in and change the effect options and make the delays longer. So I could make them 30 second delays, which gives me a minute and a half with all three running at the same time. And uh, then I'd have several different options. They seem to have all changed by default anyway. Right, okay. So that would give, give me a 30 second timer. Okay, I hope you found this presentation useful. Uh, if you've got any questions or you think um, something could be improved, please tell me. I will always respond to critical, uh, constructive feedback. Thank you very much.